Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. I look like I've got a lion's mane this morning. I just took my hair out of my silk scrunchie that I slept in. Sorry, that's a boring way to start the vlog, isn't it? Um, so normally, I like to start the vlogs by telling you what's going to happen in the said vlog, but I actually haven't got a clue what's, um, what's going to be occurring today for your viewing pleasure, because... We have had um, our whole week up skittled for various reasons, so I, I just don't know, I don't know what's happening. What I do know is that I have just been knocked off the waiting list and onto the official list for Pilates at 11. Woohoo! So let me tell you, Athletic Reformer Pilates is popular, <laughs> um, and I don't normally go for the 11am class, but we were meant to have a PT session this morning and that's been upskittled, so Reformer Pilates, I thought let's just sneak one in. So I'm gonna head over to do that later. And then the sun's coming out, so maybe I'll come back and do a little bit of gardening, but I feel like that's really boring because you always watch me do gardening. I kind of also wanna do a little bit of like an autumn hunt <laughs> through the Cotswolds, as in like hunting for things like pumpkin spice lattes, just like wholesome, yummy things. I also would like to get some twigs and some branches to make a new, slightly more seasonally appropriate display for our entrance hall. And I want to pick some more blackberries to make a blackberry sorbet. So actually, we do have a few plans. We do. Um, but yes, it's 10 o'clock now and I'm still in my pyjamas because I decided to sit <laughs> in the living room with sausage dogs either side of me while I edited the last video that you will have seen. So that is done, hallelujah. Um, and now I'm ready to actually begin the day. And the sun has come out at this exact moment. If you can hear what sounds like a tractor in the background, we have got Pete and Neil from Nicholson's back in action. Um, it is without a doubt the most fun and glamorous job they've ever done. Not, <laughs> they are basically I think it's called hardcoring um, our bin area <laughs> because last winter we have a lot of bins a lot of a lot of garden means a lot of bins are needed um, for said green waste gosh this is so boring I'm so sorry <laughs> literally talking about bins within the first two minutes of the vlog I'm so sorry why why are you watching I don't know It'll get better than this, I promise. We will find something more interesting to talk about. Um, yeah, but but I'll, t I'll tell you very quickly the boring story. Basically last year, when it was wet and wintry, we found that the area where the bins were was getting really muddy and we were ruining the grass. Um, so we thought, let's actually just put that like hardcore, like, like we've got in the kitchen garden, down on the ground. Um, and some of the bushes need replacing because the conifers are dying and we had to book them in for two weeks anyway and they were so quick at doing the what do you call it um repointing of the old stone wall that we were like okay well actually we do have another job that you can do so there we go okay bin story over um right i've got half an hour before i need to leave for pilates and i've actually got a little i'm getting warm gosh that sun is coming out um suitcase out because I'm gonna pack this afternoon for our holiday which is next weekend if the air traffic problems sort themselves out. I've got friends that are friends that are stuck in um, Mallorca. Chloe is stuck in France so it's all um, crazy. I just hope that it sorts itself out for next weekend very selfishly. Um, Yes, I have some new fitness bits that I would like to open and try on with you. And you'll remember this brand if you watched my vlogs last autumn because Fanka leggings are the most flattering. If you would like your buttocks to be elevated and to look fabulous, their body sculpt leggings are top notch. They're amazing. So not only have I ordered myself a new pair of them, but I've ordered... <laughs> quite a lot of bits um, and I would like to wear one of my new outfits to reform Pilates today because nothing quite inspires me to work out as much as new fitness clothing so if you don't mind I'm gonna pop you on a time lapse while I actually no you don't need to see me unpackaging I'm gonna unpackage all of my Fanka bags and then we'll do a little fitness try on. 
Okay, my darlings, looking a whole lot jazzier than when I just saw you in my pajamas. How is this for an autumnal color combination, but equally still fun for summer? Which is great because I'm going to be taking this stuff with me on holiday next week. The bottoms are the Lift and Curve, Lift and Curve leggings in the shade Baked Apple. I think we're gonna have to bake some apples later wearing these amazing leggings. So the thing that I love about Fanka is that their numero uno priority is the fabrics. They are, they are fabricologists, if you like. So that is the first thing that they think of when it comes to the design. Um, and then they do the fun stuff like the colors and everything like that. So a few little details of these incredible leggings. We have got a compression around the tummy, but don't worry, they're not a nightmare to get on. Like they've, they've somehow mastered the ability to be able to like actually put your leggings, pull them on and not feel as though you've got 10 sizes too small. And yet when they're on, they suck you all in. I could literally wear these, maybe like the black ones, underneath dresses in winter and it would act like, do you remember I've got those like tummy control <laughs> knickers that just give you a seamless effect and suck you in? These have the same effect. The curve, so you could wear these inside out and not see these designs, but you can see these little striped designs. Boy oh boy, are they bootylicious. So you've got a little bit of the butt lift, you've got a little bit of, um, you can see how the fabric is patterned to really accentuate a fabulous booty. Um, I've got the full length versions. So that's the leggings and then also from the lift and curve range is this gorgeous top which is in the perfect colour for this time of year and it's called Sunrise. This top, first of all, not only is it like body sculpting, it's got a full waist stretch so when you're putting it on and very importantly taking it off it's not an absolute nightmare because I often find it very challenging taking off a sports bra. This was super easy. The cups are removable, um, but I'm quite liking <laughs> the shape that they give me while they are in. Color is fabulous and Fanka pieces are this lovely, very breathable material. They all wash beautifully as well. My black leggings from last year, I literally wore them like, I was gonna say nine days a week, <laughs> but that's impossible. Um, so yeah, this is the first look from the Lift and Curve collection. Oh my gosh, it's so flattering. It makes me look like I've got, <laughs> that was like Bruce Almighty. <laughs> I feel great in this. This is such a gorgeous colour combo. Uh, oh, I also chose the little sockies because one always needs new gym socks. How cute are they? So there we go. This is Fanka look number one. Okay, we have gone down a more kind of athleisure, cool... <laughs> you guys got really annoyed with me when I kept saying cool when I was doing my trainer try on. Um, that for me actually only went live last night so I've got them all here and I'm going to be very carefully reviewing all of your comments as to which ones I'm going to be keeping. Okay, so back to this fabulous outfit. First of all, the perfect workout slash general life t-shirt. This is called the Insta Breeze t-shirt. It is super lightweight and just can you see like how light and ooh, silky it is? <laughs> I just love it. Um, quick dry material. It is odor proof material or odor minimizing material. Sweat wicking. Um, did I mention quick drying? Because I think that's really important, especially given the fact that I'll be taking this away with me next week. Um, I can just wash it and then stick it out and then it's ready to be worn again the next day. Classic fit white tee, super soft material. I love it. We then have, going back to the Lift and Curve collection, the Viper Shorts in this gorgeous like teal, almost emerald colour. I feel that the length of them is just the absolute perfect length. Once again, these are um, dual sided, so if you want to do like the whole, here is my perfectly shaped buttocks, then, I mean look at that, that's just such a good design. Again, you've got the compression, um, the seams are just in all <laughs> the right places, if you know what I mean. Uh, again, sweat wicking, amazing fabric, and I just love the colour. It feels very, do you know what, I literally look like I work for Bamford, because <laughs> this is quite literally the Bamford turquoise. I feel like I should turn up to Pilates wearing this. In fact, I might do. I might just keep this on. Um, no, I'm going to show you a couple more bits. I think the next item will surprise you, but I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. 
Wowza trouser, here we go. This is the lift and curve dress, which yes, I have chosen to be my paddle dress because paddle is kind of like tennis and the cool kids wear things like this and I was not wearing things like this before. I've had an accidental stroke of genius. This did not occur to me when I was choosing the pieces, but I'm still wearing the shorts because they're the same colour. I did not even plan this. Um, they are not attached. This is the shorts that I just had on earlier. I did not plan on um, them being the same colour. It didn't enter my head. So absolute fluke, but genius. An accidental genius move. So the dress is all the design details that we know and love from the lift and curve range. You've got the seams in all the right places which are just super duper flattering. Um, you've got the removable pads, you've got that incredible fabric that's super washable, super movable, sweat wicking, um, super durable. I would so highly recommend getting the shorts to go underneath by the way. Um, I just, <laughs> I'm so pleased with my accidental geniusness. Adjustable straps, gorgeous colour. Uh, forest green is the official name of the shade and it's literally the Bamford colour. Um, I have a discount code which is very exciting. Thank you Fanka. Thank you Fanka. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that on the screen here and all of these pieces will be linked in the description box down below along with more info on the discount code, um, how long you've got to use it, etc. So there we go. Um, make the most of it. Love this a lot but I need to leave for Pilates in four minutes. So I'm gonna show you one more look that I will wear to do my reformering. Um, and then the next pair of leggings I was gonna show you are brown. So <laughs> we know that I like to live in brown leggings at this time of year. So I'm gonna take them with me to get changed into after Pilates while we do whatever activity we decide to do after Pilates, post Pilates. And this is what I'm going to wear to Pilates, matching my Sunrise tank sports bra. We have got lift and sculpt leggings, but this time, just to be a little bit wild, I have put them on inside out, which is not a problem because they are actually reversible. So if you want to have a slightly more subtle um, buttock lift and sculpting, then you can wear them. So can you see, like, because of the texture of the detail. You can just see a very fine outline. I don't know if you can really see. Um, well, peachy, quite literally. <laughs> um, yeah, you can just see a very subtle outline of the lines, but it's not quite as in your face. So depends on what you prefer. I quite like the simplicity of this. Love the height of the waistband. Love that it's just like a big, plain waistband. Super flattering um and i popped on the socks too and just a little note this is my warm-up um they've actually got a little bit of sticky here so they're not going to be slipping down my foot which is amazing Ta -da! gosh wow <laughs> i've broken myself um okay without further schmoozle i'm gonna pop on the insta breeze oh i just love this so much insta breeze yes I'm going to pop this on just to get myself there so that people don't think a giant satsuma is walking into the club. There we go, I love it. I love where the waistband finishes. You can just do a little tuck. Lazy girl slip on trainers. Love. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, we are ready for Reforma Pilates. And the animal, let's go. Hello again, my darlings. So class was wonderful. It was actually a substitute. Is that what you call it? Substitute teacher? A, co a cover. Cover teacher. Um, and she was great. It was very tough. And I feel like it was just what I needed for my um, glutes. Couldn't show you anything in the class because it was a busy one. I've now got changed. 30% of me is still unchanged though because <laughs> I realise that this top is literally tied together by like a tiny string, can you see? And as much as I love a little bit of side boob, <laughs> it's chilly today and breezy and I don't think the lovely shoppers of Dalesford need to see side boob on a Tuesday morning. But let me show you my leggings. Can I show, let me, hang on, let's, let me show you properly. This is gonna be the world's first Dalesford car park outfit of the day. 
I don't know if that was successful or not. Um, but basically, these are the same leggings that I was wearing earlier, but in chocolate brown, which is my absolute favourite for day-to-day -day wear. And if one fancies just flinging oneself into a Pilates pose, then Bob's your uncle, you're already wearing your leggings. So love this outfit, a little bit chilly. Luckily I did bring a lily silk cashmere jumper with me that I can fling on. So I've got a load of um, bits for lunch and I've got some puff pastry left over from a HelloFresh meal that I didn't end up doing. So I might make a courgette tart, but I actually might make it tomorrow um, because we've now confirmed that Kat's gonna come tomorrow to shoot some bits for us, which is great because I've got a fun, project coming up that requires some gorgeous photos. Why am I not moving? Oh. <laughs> Needed a bit more on the accelerator. Yeah, so might make the tart for tomorrow, but I bought some lovely salad boxes. But on my way home, I'm going to keep an eye on the hedgerows as I so often do to um, pick some, oh, well, it's just started raining. So maybe I'm not actually. <laughs> because that is a sunny time task and it's no longer sunny. And I know that Charlie is hungry, so maybe I better just get back, make some lunch, and we'll do some foraging, hopefully, this afternoon. Okay, it stopped raining, so I thought I would dash out and do a little forage. And I've had to put blackberries in with the quiche that I bought for lunch. Don't want to tip it up. Oh, I've got a ladybird! Where did it fly? Did you fly into the car or did you fly out? Oh dear. I might have taken a ladybird hostage. Um, but yes, the hedgerows here are full of blackberries, so I've picked enough for mine and Charlie's yogurt enjoyment um, until we go away at the weekend. If I manage to find a load more, then I might be able to fulfill my dream of making a blackberry sorbet. It's only the hedgerows that get the morning sun at the moment that are ripe, um, but before too long, they will be spoilt for choice. I'd like to make a blackberry hey, jam as well. What are your tips on that? Oh! Yeah, you wanna stay out of the sun. So much to, to do. Hello again, my darlings. I can't actually remember what the last thing I vlogged was, um, but I have had an afternoon of not procrastinating, but doing non-vloggable boring things. I've done a lot of packing for our holiday, just because it's rainy and I thought if I get it done now, then it's out the way, it's done. So I think what I'm gonna do for the vlog is I've got three or four dresses which have arrived over the last couple of weeks and um, I want to try them on with you. But I did promise I would show you the brown leggings that I'm currently wearing now. So these are the brown um, versions of the leggings that I was showing you earlier and I popped them on with my boots. This is gonna be my <laughs> blackberry picking outfit for later on. I also have a couple of gorgeous new Sorry, a couple of gorgeous new fleeces from Holland Cooper. I've got the olive and the navy, and these are gonna be my official, always wearing this, literally probably all day, every day, fleeces for gardening, for dog walks, for getting it to Pilates and things like that. It's just the perfect fleece, like the perfect countryside fleece. Holland Cooper really think of so many fantastic design details. Even the fact that it's got um, leather on the collar here. Because then if you do have any makeup on, if it's fleece on your skin, it picks up makeup. Um, but the leather doesn't. You've got leather, elbow patches, you've got little poppers on the pockets. So alongside the brown leggings, I feel like this is gonna be a very, well-worn outfit. This is a size small and then I asked for the olive colour in an extra small. Let's see if there's much detail because I do often get quite a lot of questions on the sizing. So to be honest the shoulders are not too different. I feel like the bodice is just a little bit smaller on this one. That is so lovely. I thought 
automatically that I prefer this one, but I actually really love the navy. It's a very rich kind of navy. Um, and then you've got obviously the beautiful piping detail. It's just the kind of thing, anyone that lives in the countryside, you know that you just wear this so often at this kind of thing. And Holland Cooper, they are very similar price-wise to the traditional country brands like the Schufels. Um, but I have to say the quality and the design detail I think is elevated. So yes, love these. So this is what I'm going to go <laughs> dog walking and blackberry picking in later. If you're not a brown legging kind of gal, then you can of course go for the leggings in black. Again, these are super high-waisted. You can wear them this way around and you get a little handy pocket. Do these have a pocket? I don't know. Um, but these are the super duper soft leggings. Like literally, you wanna wear these all day, every day. I got these in a size small. And again, super duper high waistband. I'll probably show you me wearing these during our blackberry picking later. Just for a bit of variety. And this range is called Beyond Nude because they literally feel in the best way possible, like I'm not wearing anything, they are so comfortable. So I have them in this gorgeous burnt orange colour, which I think is so lovely for autumn. I will most likely wear these when pelotoning tomorrow morning. Okay, my darlings, this is the first of the dresses that I need to try on ahead of taking away. And I always feel on these kinds of holidays where it's like a villa, and you're with your family, I always wish I had more easy to throw on pieces. And I thought this would be perfect. You know when you're just kind of done being by the beach or by the pool for the day and you're just kind of getting ready for dinner, I think this is a really nice, easy to wear piece. But then equally, with the right accessories, of which I'm wearing none, <laughs> I did just pop on this lovely little pearl Monica Venenda necklace. I've got a spot right here, very annoying. Sorry, boob shot or lack of boob shot. Um, yeah, I just thought that was quite a nice little easy to throw on number in this seersucker fabric. Nice and affordable from the high street. I like the detail um, where you can just kind of cinch it in as much as you like around the waist. So nice, easy to throw on piece. I am going to have to bring it up by about two inches. <laughs> it needs taking up at the bottom, which is fairly easy to do. So. This is dress number one. I'm really annoyed by my lipstick colour. <laughs> I put on, um, I could have sworn this was a lipstick that I love. Velvet Teddy by MAC. I swear I used to love it, but I don't know, it looks really weird on me today, like super dark. Oh, that's what I think of you. Another summer dress option here. Are we still buying summer dresses? By the time you guys watch this video, <laughs> it's gonna be September which in my head is autumn, which is crazy. Um, I don't know if I need this. I don't know if I need to keep it. It's uh, new from And Other Stories. It's very easy to wear, really nice and floaty. It is good for those scenarios that I explained earlier, like, you know, you're finished by the pool or whatever. I like the bow on the shoulder. I like the smocked back. I like the fabric. I think if I didn't have loads of other lovely things in my wardrobe, then I think it'd be a keeper. But actually, I think I'd rather just take stuff that I already own. Um, the great thing about this holiday is that it's with family, it's at the end of summer. I don't feel the need to shoot summer content because it's at the end of summer. So I'm very happy to just take a really old <laughs> wardrobe, nothing new, or like very few new pieces. So yeah, don't feel like I need this one. So on to the next. Well, I'm very glad I tried everything on because I think I'm gonna have to see if I can get this in a smaller size. This is from the lovely brand Honorine, which um, I have the gorgeous floral cover up that I'm obsessed with. I think a smaller size, hopefully the shoulders will be a little bit higher and the waist or the bodice will be a little bit more pinched in. But other than those little sizing adjustments, it is the most gorgeous dress. We all know that a broderie anglais is my absolute dream fabric. So beautiful. Love the little um, detail on the edges of the sleeves. So yeah, not the right size, but beautiful dress. And if this is the smallest size, then I might just see if we can do a little bit of adjusting. And here we have another of those kind of dresses that you can throw on 
after you've been in the sun all afternoon. This is another one from Juliet Dunn. I actually have this dress in white and green as well. The white and green one is in a size zero. This is a size one and again it's a little bit big. It's probably not as um, tragic in this dress because it's a lot more of a loose billowy silhouette and I don't believe they had this one in a size zero. But again lovely design detail, just really cute little scallop finishing details, little pockets. It's just a really nice kind of beachy throw on and I feel like this coral colour is just perfection, especially when you've got a little bit of sun kissed about your skin. So. Those are my new dresses that are going to be going in my suitcase now, and to be honest, I think I'm pretty much packed. How to do underwear and like boring stuff like that, but yay! Very productive, rainy afternoon. The irony of going from literally a coral beach dress to cashmere jumper and leggings is not lost on me, but now that I'm going to be spending the rest of the afternoon pretty much on my laptop, I just want to be cosy. I'm pretty sure Charlie has lit a fire, um, which is fine by me, and I think we've got a nice pasta for dinner, so cosy vibes all around. This is, I've just realised, <laughs> this is actually a men's jumper from Lily Silk that I definitely ordered for Charlie. I'm not going to be giving it to him, <laughs> spoiler alert, because oh, I just love it. <laughs> it's a really nice, almost brownie grey, cashmere, oversized. I did think I was surprised that um, I'd ordered the wrong size, but no, I've ordered it for Charlie, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, and then I have popped on the final pair of Fanka leggings, which I just have to show you. If you are someone, oh, oh my gosh, that's weird. I was literally going to say, if you're the kind of person that likes to dash around doing errands or gardening or cleaning, ironing, whatever, listening to a podcast, then, and then my podcast I was listening to just started playing, I'm listening to the Zoe Science and Nutrition podcast on the surprising health impact of eating too fast. Fascinating, but I just like learning while I'm doing, um, and you pick up quite a lot from these nutrition podcasts. Anyway, game change about the leggings is that, did you see that? Magical, and when you've got a big jumper on, you can't even tell that you've got your phone there, but you can just keep listening to your podcast. Obviously, you can just be hands free whether or not you're listening to a podcast, and then oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? <laughs> you know, it's just super handy to have them there. Um, and even when you've got the phone in the pocket, like it doesn't ruin the silhouette of the leggings. They are fabulously high waisted, just that little bit of detail. Can you see at the back there, that little pink V? Yeah, I just absolutely love them. Um, they don't pick up dog hair either, which is insane. Anyway, I feel like I have been literally raving about Fanka so much in this video. So I am now going to head downstairs, get on with some editing um, and email admin, and planning a bit of shooting tomorrow, because now we've organised that Kat's going to come tomorrow to shoot some bits for us. Half of the bits that I need are not going to be here on time, so I'm probably just going to shoot some wholesome, like, autumn recipe videos, which is nice. So, better start planning. Well, if that is not an autumnal scene, the fire is lit. I've got a sausage who has been helping me finish off a little bit of work on the sofa. And we are watching Stanley Tucci searching for Italy. I don't know why it's called that, it's more like... Stanley Tucci's Italian food road trip. Um, it's very good wholesome background viewing and it has very much inspired us to have a pasta dish for dinner. That was my ankle clicking. Oh, these leggings are so comfortable. You are a slug. <laughs> I adore you. Yes! <laughs> So they had a bird, she won't tell us. My worst quality <laughs> is how, like, wow, spare moment I am. I'm very spontaneous when it comes to doing anything. Well, Look at his tongue out. darlings it is now Wednesday morning I want to share with you the most satisfying part of my morning which is when I put the frothy milk 
into the coffee. Something just so ritualistic about that for me. Can you see how fluffy it is on top? And that's why I'll just never be able to give up Oatly Barista Milk because nothing else that I have tried gives me that fluffy top, which I just love. So my mind was blown last night. Sorry about the hissing, it's the coffee machine. My mind was blown last night. Um, we were watching At Home with the Furies, <laughs> with the fire on, with the dog snoring away, with our pasta dinner. Um, just total, like, trash TV. And when they were talking about Tyson going to, like, um, sponsor a, or introduce a WWE match, I don't know much about wrestling or anything like that, but Charlie was like, you know, it's all fake, right? And I was, I was like, what? what, what are you talking about? Turns out, WWE is completely fake. Like, some people say it's a real sport because of what the, the performers are doing, but every move is planned. I've never watched it, so I can't say that I've watched it and thought it was real, but it blows my mind that stadiums will get filled up by people watching people pretending to do a sport. Completely mind-blowing. Um, and I didn't, in oh, let's check it actually. I did an Instagram poll saying I was today years old when I found out that WWE is acting. 78% of people said, yeah, duh. And 22% of people have said, my mind is blown. I wonder if the 78% of people that said, yeah, duh, they've actually like watched it before. Because then I went down a YouTube wormhole and started looking at it and it's really obvious that it's fake. But I had no idea. I had no idea. It's just crazy. Just, I don't understand. Maybe it's just pure entertainment, but anyway. Um, I feel like I got loads of sleep last night. I've just popped my Le Serum and Vitamin C on, which is what I do every single morning. Um, I've been out to water the greenhouse. It's actually a really nice day today. Pete and Neil are here again, um, <laughs> sorting out the bin area. Remember that fascinating chat yesterday? It's eight o'clock, which is quite leisurely for me. And I am going to do a peloton and a 20 minute hit in the gym. And then Kat is coming over. So I'm gonna use my twizzly hair tongue again. This is just me <laughs> organizing my morning in my head and unnecessarily sharing it with you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to take my daily essentials for women, not the fertility ones. I'm kind of alternating and then Maybe next year I will start to take the fertility every day. But um, yeah, wild nutrition. All day, every day. Love them. And my discount code, I think, is Wild Josie. I'm going to relink the Fashion Mumbler discount directory at the top of this blog post. At the top of Fashion Mumbler. <laughs> I'm going to link the Fashion Mumbler discount directory blog post at the top of the video's description box and maybe I'll do a pinned comment as well um, because we've updated it lately with all the codes you need from Fanka to HelloFresh, All Plants, Wild Nutrition, Kenzie, Skincare. If you ever wonder if I've got a discount code for something, that is the blog post to check out. So add it to your favorites. Add it to your favorites on your phone or your laptop and just check it out. Um, to save yourself money. So there we go, right. They're back with the tractor. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and pop on my pelotoning outfit. A moment for this <clears throat> beautiful view. <laughs> Excuse my voice. Breaking in the morning. You know it's gonna be a good day when you open the shutters and you've got blue skies. Charlie off for a workout. Yep, there he goes. Okay, I really need to get in the gym, but I am <laughs> procrastinating this morning. I have just been pulling together loads of random bits to take with us on holiday. Um, we got these plastic wine glasses from Big Festival in a little goodie bag, so I thought they'd be really good for taking wine to the beach. We've obviously got our partner in wine bottle. These are amazing because apparently, if anyone's ever been 
to Fiscardo, Kefalonia, and you've been to, I think it's called Emplisi Beach. Apparently, lovely, uh, the lovely chaps that have the beach stall there are no longer there, which means no wine on the beach, which is just not good enough. So, um, mm -hmm. can you even take wine into Greece? I mean, I don't see why not, but yeah, because it's a villa, we're also taking some washing machine tablets, um, a load of grind coffee. What's Charlie packed in there? Oh my gosh, he's even taking his steak knives. That's hilarious. And a load of Dalesford supplies, gin marmalade, etc. I made homemade granola, as you saw in the last vlog. We've got candles, just to make it feel a bit more homely. The villa that we stay in is nothing particularly fancy, so it's nice to just like add these little home touches. Um, yeah, see I'm procrastinating even <laughs> by showing you that. Leggings are a 10 out of 10. These are the softest leggings in the entire world and they just, they're just so like roomy, you know, really easy to fit on, the perfect amount of elasticity. And the color is like a burnt orange and I love them. I didn't really chat to you about the Pilates class yesterday after the class. <clears throat> um, but loads of ladies were complimenting my orange leggings and everyone was asking where they were from. So I think everyone is going turning up in Fanka at Bamford. But yeah, love the color of these. Um, they are not the same kind as the ones I wore yesterday. They're more of like the relaxed, uh, not relaxed fit, because as you can see, they're still like super well fitted, but they're not the ones with the panels here. They're a little bit more yogury, I would say, just because they're super comfortable, super soft. So yeah, these are the ones I'll probably wear on my Pilates more regularly. Love them, I just love how high the waistband is. Like my tummy button is there. Boop. <laughs> tummy buttons are so weird, aren't they? So yes, love it, love them, love them a lot. Right, stop faffing, woman. Where have I put my coffee? There. How nice is that picture? Oh, I love it. We rewatched our wedding film the other day and got really excited. When it's a morning like this, I'm sorry, there's my rubbish I'm taking downstairs. Um, it reminds me of the very first day that we moved into this house. Do you remember, let me know down below if you've watched since the day that I sat on this step and introduced the new house to you. It was a morning like this. I think I filmed that clip at like 6 a.m. though because we got woken up by the church bells. <laughs> um, yeah, this was where I sat when I first vlogged inside the house. Gosh, that was such an exciting time. Time has really flown by, but yeah, sunny mornings remind me of that. And also, why am I about to cry? <laughs> also our wedding morning. We were so lucky we had the sun streaming through. Oh, I'm getting emotional, this is really weird. Um, and obviously we had the flowers. I'll pop a picture on the screen here going all the way down these stairs. That, do you know what? <sighs> Deep breath, woman. <laughs> Pull yourself together. That's something that I really underestimated when getting married in our own home. I know that it's just not doable for so many people, but it's something that I'm so glad we did because now so many parts of the home just remind me <laughs> I'm about to cry. <laughs> so many parts of our home now remind me of that special day. Like even just now, you saw a really boring clip of me making the bed. Um, but even when I opened the windows, it reminded me of when I opened the windows while we were all getting ready. I mean, I got ready for the wedding in this exact spot here. And we opened the windows and we were like waving at all the supplies as they were coming in. With I had my rollers in. I never actually got the clip from Jake. Jake, it must have not turned out that well, but he had the drone hovering literally just here while we were all doing our makeup and then flew it over into the distance. I'm going to message him and see if he's got that. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous day, and I am procrastinating.
workout done. Excuse my out of breathness, but I realized I didn't show you the results of my foraging yesterday. It's the most basic thing you could possibly do, but I think a load of greenery is better than an empty vase. So that is how you can add green into your home at the exact price of zero pounds. Yeah, I like it. Simple. Minimalist. <laughs> darlings I have just quickly dried my hair I'm going to start doing some curls now and I just popped my hair back in this cute little bow headband to do some makeup didn't want to chat you through it because it's always the same um, I feel like I've been telling you how much I love this for the last 17 million vlogs Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation love it um, what else can I tell you that I love? Merit Clean Lash Mascara. I do have my lashes LVL lifted and this is, I would call this a light mascara, but it is buildable, but hence the name Clean Lash Good Ingredients, which is super important to me. Lovely fluttery lashes. Um, also from Merit, I am beyond obsessed with their new solo shadows, the little eye, eye pots. I'm using these every single day on a very basic makeup day. I'm only using Vachetta, which is this one. And then when I want <laughs> the tiniest bit more definition, I'm adding mid-century in as well. So those are my two every single day go-to eye things. And I just know that they're gonna last me forever. <laughs> you don't use that much. And I don't think I've ever finished an eye cream, never. <laughs> so yeah, good little investment. Um, I use some Clé de Peau, balmy blush on my cheeks. What bronzer did I use? Beauty Pie, awesome bronze, love it. And then I always finish with a little bit of the By Terry Golden something or other CC. On my lips, I used Merit Millennial and Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. I just felt like Millennial was a little bit too autumnal <laughs> for a sunny day, so I lifted it. I uh, didn't end up using my Charlotte Tilbury blush because I got enough colour from Clé de Peau. Uh, I used a really old bourgeois brow pencil. I mean, I don't think it can be that old actually. And then my bare brow to brush up the brows. That looks great. I wanted to tell you about a product that I like that's probably not a glamorous product and a product that I just tried that I really don't like. Let's start, let's start positive. Mitchum deodorant. I wore this on my wedding day um, and it has been my go-to deodorant all summer. It's, I think this one is more natural. I hope it is. <laughs> um, 48 hour odor control, triple odor defense. And then something that I just tried this morning that I really didn't like, sorry, the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elasti Cream. Smells lovely, probably pretty chemically. Um, hence the smell. Elasticity Boosting Body Cream. I mean, it sounds great, 
and I feel hydrated. However, it took so long to rub in. You know when you're just covered in white streaks for a very long time and you really have to like rub over the same area about 19,000 times, which is not my idea of fun. So there we go, a glowing review and a not so glowing review. Right, I'm gonna spray heat protection into my hair. never know if you're meant to brush heat protection through but I guess it probably helps with the distribution. Final blast with the Dyson. Okay, hair separated out into my little bun at the top and I'm going to use my very jazzy beach waver again because I was so happy with the curls and how long they lasted when I did it was it the last vlog or the one, no, two vlogs ago when we went to Big Festival. So I'm going to do this again. It's also quite fun. I'm gonna restart this filming clip and I'm gonna film a time lapse, but also I can see how long it's taken me. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna take much more than 20 minutes. Let's see. Yeah, it's 10.42, Kat's gonna be here just after 11. So let's get cracking. took 16 minutes and 47 seconds, including hairspraying. Um, I do think for me, don't worry, I'm gonna brush the curls out by the way, but I'm gonna leave them, I think I left them 20 minutes last time as we were driving to Phil and Hannah's. And I also used the Color Wow Cult Favorite Firm and Flexible Hairsprays. Hairsprays? Hairspray. The professional choice for colour treated hair, super fast drying and strong cold and won't distort colour. I didn't know hairspray could distort colour. Never mind! Right, um, Kat's gonna be here in 10. I'm gonna do a quick <coughs> inhalation of hairspray. If you wondered why I was laughing at the end of um, that little time lapse, I've just been watching Zoella's vloggist videos and it's the one where she and Alfie are reading Mummy Laid an Egg. <laughs> Not too arty because I think it's a little bit advanced, but um, yeah, it's when the character is giving birth and the little baby pops out like, hello mummy. I thought that was very funny. Anyway, I'm gonna um, start planning some outfits, getting some ingredients together because I think maybe we'll film a little reel for my courgette muffins if I've got all the ingredients. So I'm gonna get that all prepped before Kat's arrival.
appreciate I've not <laughs> spoken to you that much today. Kat is still here, she's just getting some garden snaps while I get changed into my final outfit that we need to shoot today. Um, I think I just showed you a little time lapse of us shooting my new and improved black fruit and apple pie recipe. I make the crumble in the Thermomix, but you absolutely don't need a Thermomix to do it. Um, so that should be on the blog very soon. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> It'll be on the blog very, very soon, but let me just tell you the little changes that I've made for this year's version. Game changers, absolutely delicious. So we're gonna shoot the final uh, little bits we need to shoot, and then I'm gonna drop Kat off the train station, and then we're gonna cook a nice dinner. So final look, and then we are wrapped for the day. And that's it, it's a wrap. We've just finished with a lovely little skincare video shoot, which is perfect, because now I get to enjoy heavenly oil on my skin all evening. So I'm gonna take Kat to the station, and then it's back home for dinner. Hello again, darlings. It is now an hour later. I have just dropped Kat at the train station. She is on her way home, and luckily, Charlie is cooking tonight. Oh, that's made my lips go really pale. Um, yeah, I'm always quite mentally exhausted after a shoot day. They're fun and wonderful, but a little bit tiring. I wanted to do one final little unboxing with you before I tidy up <laughs> the mess behind me. Tidying up after a shoot day is just the icing on the cake when you're already tired. But I have not only got courgette um, muffins, but also apple crumble <laughs> to enjoy after, after dinner. So I shall not complain. Anyway, this is potentially an amazing dupe for my watch. I adore my watch so much. I love it beyond words. It looks very yellow here. It's more of like a rosy gold in real life, I would say. My watch is Cartier. It was something that I decided to treat myself to for my 30th birthday. It's so timeless. It's very precious to me. Um, and I, I've never in my entire life seen a watch, like if I had a million pounds to spend on a watch, and some watches do get close to that, which blows my mind. There's probably watches out there worth more than a million pounds. Even if I had a million pounds and I had to spend it on a watch, I would still choose this one. That is how much I love it. I have never, ever, ever seen a watch that I prefer to this watch. Anyway, enough gushing about my watch because it is a pricey piece. I think I have found a dupe. And I might actually take this dupe with me on holiday next week. I mean, it's not quite the same, obviously, but if you want to get the look for a heck of a lot less, wowzer, this is pretty blooming amazing. So this is not gonna focus, is it? Here we go, look at that. Obviously it doesn't have the diamonds around the edge, but I mean, it's gonna keep wanting to focus on my face, so. Look at that, pretty bloomin' similar, very, very similar style, very similar colour as well. That's absolutely amazing. I wonder if this one is battery powered, because mine is actually like a wind-up situation. It is so delicate and feminine, it's much too big for me, so I'm going to have to take it to um, a watch fitter, but that is just gorgeous. I think I might actually take it into a shop tomorrow. That looks so lovely. That is just very delicate, very feminine, and you really, really get a similar effect to how you get with this one. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this on holiday with me. I won't be worrying so much about it, and I feel like that'll stack with jewelry so nicely as well. Okay, um, I'll update you on that in the next vlog when I've taken it to be fit because I have no idea how to adjust that kind of chain. Even the chain is really similar. Stunning. Um, I got it on Amazon. I will leave the exact one linked down below in case you'd like to treat yourself. But anyway, ooh, I love how my skin feels with all of these oils on. That reel should be up on my Instagram very soon. In fact, maybe even today. Maybe. Um, but yes, anyway, I am gonna do some tidying finish listening to <laughs> my true crime podcast. I love how many of you think it's hilarious that I like listening to true crime podcast. Oh no, 
Petra can't do dinner with me tomorrow evening. Ah, uh, I'll need to find another pal. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna do some tidying and I'll catch up with you again shortly. Gosh, it feels very autumnal in here. We've just had dinner, excuse the mess, and we're gonna do a little evening garden stroll. Are you going to come, Dickie? Oh, you little fat piglet. He's seeing if anyone has left any food that he can scavenge. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, the smell of it. I know, they smell amazing. I can't get it off. <laughs> Bring in the big guns. <laughs> oh, is it ready? I think it is, actually. Yeah, oh, that yeah, feels ready. Right. Now, see. you know, one thing I learned recently from Stanley Tucci's show, yeah. which I wish someone had told us about before we went to flipping Sicily, yeah. is leave them out of the fridge. Oh, Do really? not put that in the fridge. Yeah. It oh. ripens out the fridge. Oh, wow. She'd never really put tomatoes in the fridge. I didn't know that. And how mad is that in um, Palermo? When, when I... Um... They tie tomatoes like you tie onions. Um... You love Are these eating apples or cooking apples? Pretty sure they're good. Well, he's not uh, ready to No, actually, did we not say these were eating apples? I think it's just a case of trying. No, I think these are eating. Here's one, Joe. That one doesn't look quite... Oh yeah, these are eating, I think. Here you go, mate. It's your breakfast. Eating to eat. Try it. I'm not going to eat it now. Why not? Because I'm particularly hungry, but I will pick these because I will have them in the week. If they don't come off easily, it does mean that they're not yeah. ripe, though, doesn't it? Look, you never see that one. You're right, really. Just got these. Grub Might have a worm know. There's living a in it. There's a grub that's gone right into it. Like, the grub. No, but it's gone in there. Oh, you 